Hi everyone, Paul Levy with Brownells here and today we have more new product. From Geisley, we have their Super 700 trigger for the Remington 700. Uh, this long awaited trigger is finally here, now shipping at Brownells. Uh, some really neat features on this guy. Um, if you want a precision trigger, this is a good way to go. Uh, from the get go, the thing you're probably curious about is weight. Uh, it comes from the factory set at 2.5 pounds. You can get it in a single stage or a two stage model, but you can adjust that. So you can actually select whether you want a single stage or a two stage, uh, but you can buy it from the factory in either configuration ready to go. Uh, from there, you can adjust it from 12 ounces all the way up to 3.5 pounds. So you can also adjust uh, that first stage and the second stage, you can decide the weight in between there. If you want more weight on the second stage or more weight up on the first stage, pretty neat. I've never seen that in a trigger uh, for a 700. So that's the new Super 700, uh, the quality you expect from Geisley. Uh, one more feature on it, uh, of course, does have the safety, but the trigger shoe itself, they actually machined from a copper aluminum alloy just so they could hold super tight tolerances with all those engagement surfaces. Uh, so. Of course, everything you expect from Geisley, uh, that's now at Brownells, finally uh, ready to go. That's the Super 700 trigger from Geisley. From Panzer Arms, we have the AR-12. This is a 12 gauge shotgun uh, from Turkey, uh, set up to be basically with the same uh, controls as an AR-15. So if, say if you're shooting three gun and you're transitioning to your shotgun, you basically can have the same controls uh, that you would find uh, on your rifle. So we'll go through that real quick. Uh, it's a pretty interesting setup. Uh, so what you see right here, you've got a adjustable buttstock, at least for the cheek piece. Uh, moving up front, you have what uh, looks like an AR-15 style receiver. Uh, you do have more of a shotgun style or semi-auto shotgun style bolt handle, and that's about it. Uh, you do have the AR-15 style safety selector and bolt release right there on the side. Uh, and then moving up front, you have M-Lock compatible uh, attachment points, Picatinny on the full length of the top rail, so you can do whatever you want for optics set up from the uh, back to the front. And then you do have Picatinny attachments up on the front as well. They've got this kind of faux muzzle device, and then it does accept choke tubes up front. Uh, below the barrel, there is a uh, faux magazine tube, and that's where your gas system is. So it is a semi-auto uh, shotgun, and that's where everything's housed. Uh, it is compatible with the standard uh, 1919 or uh, uh, the standard 12 gauge magazines. You can find these most places. This is a five rounder. It comes with two of these uh, and then it simply inserts uh, straight just like a standard AR-15 magazine release right there and the bolt locks back on your last round. Uh, so really neat uh, setup for air controls. That's the new Panzer Arms AR-12. Now mounted on the Panzer Arms uh, AR-12, we have the new uh, Midwest Industries backup sites. Uh, these are Midwest Industries uh, steel sites and they are nice. Uh, so basically they've got uh, some steel backup sites at a great price point, about $150. So here on the rear peep, you've got basically this post with just the peep itself. It has this little, little nub that protrudes down so it doesn't protrude too far down on your receiver and bend and maybe cause damage to the site itself. Uh, it's adjustable for windage at the rear, you can see Right here on this little knob, uh, you can adjust for windage. Nice, solid clicks. Uh, and then they have a super slim profile, so you can mount them below optics, and they're not gonna get in the way on your gun. There's not a whole lot to snag on these. Uh, moving up to the front sight, again, super slim profile. It does have an A2 style post uh, right in there. It's got these large protective ears that are uh, mostly like an M4 carbine. Uh, then again, it folds down nicely out of the way. Uh, you will notice that both the front and the rear snap up and down uh, without pushing a button. You can close them without uh, having to do anything and you can raise them without having to push any side buttons or anything like that. That's new from Midwest Industries. New from Tango Down, we have their flat face trigger for Gen 5 Glocks. This is in their Vickers uh, series and it's a Palmer trigger. So you can upgrade your existing Glock trigger on your Gen 5 with a flat face polymer trigger at not much of a cost. Uh, so otherwise, the feature you get, you get that flat face, which a lot of people prefer over the standard curved Glock trigger, and then it includes the little uh, safety nub right there. So you still get the full functionality of your Glock, uh, full safety capability, but with that nice upgraded flat face. That's new from Tango Down. That's it for this week. I'll see you again next week.